Okay. Uh, it's week four, Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about sharing stress for non-teen war. We're still going to continue that lecture. And then we are going to sharing stress teen war. But I'd like to talk to you about term test one. We have on May 31st, Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And it's bird size building, room 120. And you'll be face to face or in person. Don't say face to face. It's in, in person. The reason why it's in person so that I can ask you question from the homework. If it's online, I will ask you a question that is not seen from homework and that will put you on a great disadvantage. So I don't want to do that. That's why I'm doing it face to face or in person. So it's in Bird Science Building. One, two, zero is a room. Topics will be covered from homework one to homework four. And you have to know lectures week one, Tuesday to week four, Tuesday will be tested. Uh, week four, sorry, week, not week one, I do apologize. Week four, Thursday will not be tested okay so this coming thursday topic i will not test you for your term test anyone any questions so far anyone okay so regarding the term test let's see how you all do first okay if you fail uh let's let's let, let's let's not uh talk about who failed let's look at the term test okay so the term test let me talk for the term test. Okay, uh, we'll have corrections. Okay, so what do I mean by corrections? Okay, if your grade is between uh ten percent to 49%. Okay. So let's say you got 11, 12. Okay. So 10 to 49%. Uh, I, uh, or not I. So uh, avenue to learn were uh, announced. Okay. When you will have corrections, okay? So what will happen is uh, you will see, so the term test is on what? Term test is on uh, May 31st. So that is the term test. So hopefully by uh may may wait june the third uh results will be out on avenue to learn Okay, so when when the results come out what you will see oh and there's someone you when we get, yep, you'll get your quiz uh, mark back, okay, before test one, and I'll post the marking scheme, don't worry, okay? So results will be out on Avenue to Learn, okay, on June the 3rd, and what you will see is student number, and you will see whether you have to do question one, or question two, or if you do badly, you have to do one and two, okay, which I don't, I don't wish, okay. So I forgot to tell you, over here, your term test, you have two questions. Okay, you have two questions, so there's plenty of time. So June 3rd, you will know, and then the, the right, okay, June, 
the the right will be on June 3rd, you know your grades. You will write on June. Uh, I'm hoping that you will write on June the 7th, uh, face to face or in person. From 7 uh, o'clock p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Okay. So regarding the correction, the best grade uh, obtainable from correction is 50%. Okay, that's your best grade. I have to be fair to other students that pass it for the first time where they got 50, okay? So that's the best grade you will get is 50%. Any questions so far regarding uh, the corrections? Anyone, please? Is this clear for you all? Or you have some question to ask? You can. Okay, I don't see anyone having any questions regarding the corrections, okay? So uh, uh, just the highlight is, if your grades is between 10 to 49, okay, I will ever uh, advertise on Avenue to learn that you can have to do your corrections. Okay, so the correction will be done in person. And how this is done is you come to McMaster. I will give you your, your term test question that you have attempted. You can see where you've gone wrong and you will do it again. Hopefully you will get it right, okay? Right. So that's regarding the corrections. OK, so what am I going to do today is I'm going to carry on uh, with the example that I leave out that I've not completed, which is this question over here, and we are deriving the shear stress distribution. OK, so what we have done is we have dealt with the uh with the range where the limits of the y is between 20 millimeters to 35 millimeters okay so i'm going to continue to derive the rest of the uh shear stress distribution equation okay that's where we're going so we're going to go into uh shear stress distribution equation okay so again going to continue on this problem over here so for this problem just uh quickly i will do a a very quick recap. So we are aware that uh, Vy, the shear force, is equal to, I think it's 90 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. And we have done, we have calculated our Izz, which is equal to uh, which is equal to, I think it's 5.813 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4. Okay. So we also found that our centroid Y bar is 35 millimeters from the top. Okay. So if I were to sketch where the centroid is, centroid 
is somewhere around here. Okay. So this is our centroid. So last Thursday, we derived the, the uh, shear stress distribution equation from 20, sorry, from 15 to 35, okay? Why 15 is because the distance from here to here, okay, this distance over here, is 35 millimeters, okay? So we have derived, so from here to here, right? This is 15 millimeters, right? And then 15 got 20. So we have done uh, 15 to 35. So now we are going to do zero. Uh, then we're going to look at Y. And then the limit, the other limits is going to be 15 millimeters. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, the most confusing part is always the uh, first moment of area. Okay. So now if we have a, 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 a slider now or a variable y, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to have a variable y. So I'm going to, we're going to put our y up to here, okay? So that's our y now. Okay. So the first moment of area Okay, that we have to take is you have to consider the entire flange. So you have to consider the entire flange. Okay. So this is our flange. So the flange is a constant now. Okay, the first moment of area about the flange is a constant. Why it is a constant? Because your y variable over here, from zero to fifteen, right? So the the up the the fifteen is up to here, right? So that area is constant; it will not change. Okay. So your y can be seven, your y can be six, your y can be nine. The flange area is still a constant. Okay. So the other area that we have to consider for the web. Is this area now? Okay, so that is that the 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 I I think I should have shaded it in a different color so you can see better. So this area over here will be changing as a function of y. Okay, as a function of y. So the y bar will be from here now. So this is our y bar. Okay, so this is our y bar. So we're going to apply our five rules. Okay, the rules I've written so far. So we know that this, the centroid is the datum, right? So based on the rules that I've written for you guys, this is the analysis direction. Okay. So now we're going to find the first moment of area, Q, as a function of Y, or, or, or. The first, so if I were to draw of transformation over here. Oh, wrong side. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is Y and this is Z. And this is our first moment of area about the Z axis as a function of Y. So we will have QZ of the flange and then we have qz of the web as a function of y okay because the flange is constant now why is constant 
is because 15 millimeters 